So, you had time to think it over? Enough time to think about how much you're wasting my time. <laughs> now, that's not the attitude to take, because since you're under suspicion of murder, we have a right to question you. Don't you people have something better to do, like chasing real criminals, instead of harassing me for something I didn't do? I see now by telling you that I would assist you in your investigation was the wrong thing to say. Well, you know, you, you know, you're right. You did say that, and yes, we did ask for your help. But that was before you were a suspect. A suspect? Yes, a suspect. And what may go down as one of the most brutal murders, no, brutal mutilations in history. Whatever. Yeah, go ahead, dismiss it all you want. You, know, you can wipe that smug smile off your face too because you may think you're fooling everybody else, but you're not fooling me. Oh, I'm not fooling you? No, you're not. Ooh, I'm not fooling Detective Winston, the number one crime solver in the nation? Would you just cut the crap? I am. I'm cutting through all the crap you've been putting me through for the last three hours and don't have a shred of evidence to show for it. I'm out of here. Hey, sit down, Lucinda. Or should I say Shelley Foster? Or Priscilla Kingsley? How about Connie Johnson? Now sit down. Let's see. Shelley Foster. Ex-gangbanger, got off on a technicality for attempted murder. Priscilla Kingsley, assault and battery. Connie Johnson, rape victim. I can explain all of that. Oh, I'm sure you can. Yes, I can. Have you ever been in a gang, detective? Oh, you never made that mistake, huh? Well, I did. And when you make the mistake of joining a gang, when they say jump, you say how high. When they say shoot somebody, you say how many times? There ain't no, I can't do that. Or they'll beat your ass to the ground. And if you live through that, you never ask questions again. But I decided to get out. And when I did that, I knew that Shelley Foster would have to disappear if I wanted to live any kind of a life. And that's what I did. I moved, I changed my look, and that's when I became Priscilla Kingsley. I even got married. Never was good at making the right choices in anything. Didn't know I was marrying a wife beater. One night he beat me so bad, I was a bloody mess. But that ain't so bad. So was he. We both went to jail. They say I didn't know when to stop swinging, like I can control that kind of rage. So I served my time on that one. And that's when you became Connie Johnson. That's right. That's when I became Connie Johnson. Another new look and location. Thought I did things right this time. I lived in a nice neighborhood, decent apartment, even had a decent night job with a decent boss. You people look at ex-cons like we got the plague. But this guy, this guy was different. He made me feel like a real person. We even started dating. Knowing that we shouldn't be an employee and boss, but I didn't care. It's the first time I felt like a, a real lady. And then came the rape. Man, talk about ruining a mood. Yeah, then came the rape. My boss and me were getting it on. That's when the bastard rushed in. Killed my boss knocked me unconscious, and raped me. That's when I found out my boss was married and I didn't know it. Or maybe I did and didn't want to admit to myself I was sleeping with a married man who made me feel like a real woman. I didn't care. So much for paradise. 
You happy now? Not really. But, you know, you know, I do appreciate your detailed recap of all your personalities. But the only one I'm interested in is you, right now, Lucinda Dawkins, under suspicion of murder. And let's see. Now, the rapist was never found. Um, DNA back in, that, in those days was in its infancy stage. Now, I was just curious. I took the evidence of that crime to one of our high-tech labs today. You know, being that, you know, your rape was so violent, it looked like somebody was trying to get back at you, and you came from such a, a, a violent background and all. What are you trying to say? I think you know what I'm trying to say. I think you knew who the rapist was and kept quiet about it. Came up with another identity and waited. Waited for what? You needed time. Time to track him down. Get his schedule. Find the right time. Drunk and alone in his apartment. The perfect time for you to strike. I think you knew... The rapist was your ex-husband getting revenge on you for what you did to him. To him? I told you what he did to me with the beating. And yeah, you're right. He was the rapist. Because the last thing he said before he went to jail was this ain't over. That rape was so violent, he took whatever womanhood I had and destroyed it. I can never have children even if I wanted to. Yeah, but you didn't count on one thing. You didn't count on him playing your old trick, coming up with a new name and starting a new life. No, I didn't. But I've been playing the game a lot longer than him, and I knew how to find him, just like he found me. He didn't think I was smart enough to figure it out. Fooled his ass. So you just had to kill him? And you, and you had to use a butcher knife? You damn street! I told you what he did to me. I wanted him to feel every time he punched me and beat me to a bloody mess. He killed my boss and raped me. <laughs> Hell no, I wanted him to suffer the way he made me suffer. He even made it easy for me. He was so drunk he forgot to lock the door. I tipped in, he was passed out. The blade stuck him right across the throat. Blood spewed everywhere. I thought about every violent act he had ever done to me. It was like my arm had a, a mind of its own and didn't know when to stop swinging. I hated him. I hated what he did to me. Enough was enough. Enough was enough. All I wanted was a simple life. Peace and happiness like everybody else. Guess that was too much to ask for. Guess it wasn't meant for me. Guess it wasn't meant for me. That was the most incredible interrogation I've ever had. Two weeks later, Senator Dawkins was killed in an escape attempt at County.